Hello everyone and welcome to the LangFocus channel. My name is Paul. This is another quick video about a linguistic concept. This one is about something called diglossia. This word diglossia originated from a Greek word meaning a state of being bilingual. Diglossia is a situation in which a community uses two different languages or two significantly different varieties of one language for different situations. The way it typically works is that one dialect or language is used for casual, everyday interaction, and a different standard language is used for more official, formal purposes. The dialect or language that is used for daily communication is typically a low variety, meaning that it is not formally learned, and the speakers don't formally learn its grammar or how to write in that language. It's merely learned as a spoken language. The language used for more formal situations is the high variety. It is the language that is learned at school, formally, and speakers learn how to write in that language and they learn the formal grammar rules of that language. In many cases, the community considers this high variety to be the pure or correct form of the language, and they want to keep it the same and not let it change. The low variety, on the other hand, is more flexible and it's more likely to change over time because it's not restricted by the rules of the high language. Diglossia is very common around the world. The most commonly discussed example is probably the Arabic language. In every Arabic country, there are different dialects that differ in grammar, vocabulary, and pronunciation from other dialects, but also from standard Arabic. Standard Arabic is a very codified language which is basically fixed in its rules and doesn't really change, while the dialects are constantly evolving. In casual speech with other locals, Arabs exclusively use their local dialect, but in writing, in formal speeches, and in news broadcasts, Standard Arabic is used. And Standard Arabic is also used as a bridge language when communicating with speakers from other dialects, but really only when necessary, only when there's some trouble communicating. Another example is in Italy, where there are numerous regional languages that function as the low variety, while standard Italian functions as the high variety. These regional languages are indeed distinct languages, even though they are Romance languages that are related to Italian, they are different languages, but they're often referred to as dialects because they are not formally learned at school. 